What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the Fallout 4 Guide Channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to start the new Far Harbor DLC. It's really easy to do. Firstly, just make sure you've installed all the most recent patches for the game. And there's no level requirement to start this DLC. The only thing you need to have done is progress the story up to the point where you meet Nick Valentine in Diamond City. It's part of the main quest so you can't miss it. It's straight after you complete the quest called Finding a Clue. Once you've done that, or even if you've already done it, you'll get a new quest. You might need to save and restart the game first though. Now just go to your pit boy and open up your radio. Check out Nick Valentine's radio this signal. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. And now just head back over to Diamond City Thirsty. and go to Nick Valentine's office. Once you enter, she will tell you about the new case. And we can actually get a little bit of extra information here if we pass this speech I'm check. You're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Now just head over to the northeast coast to meet your new client. It's just here on the map. And here we are. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Your daughter's missing? You were shouting about a missing daughter. What happened? A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway. If you want to hear about it, my daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. <laughs> Ask for money. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 cap sound? More money? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Yes, I'm that guy. Even more money. Don't hold out on me. You want to find your daughter, right? 500 cash. Jesus. That's all we have. Any leads then? Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. All right, I'll find her. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Investigate the residence. Okay, let's do that then. Dog meat's already running over here, opening this door for some reason. Okay, let's talk to Mrs. Nakano. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Indeed. Reasons for leaving. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. 
We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Details. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like, shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Hmm, tell me what's wrong. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Ah, so we should go to the boathouse. Nothing else right now. I do want to have a quick look upstairs, though. Man, she lives in a bit of a... Bit of a shoddy house here. Oh, there's a holotape here. Let's have a listen. Project log. Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Just gonna casually rob them, even though they've already given me 500 caps. And there's another holotape here, so let's play that. Father's note. If you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Grandad. Okay. Well, we can actually just lockpick that. But the other method would be to discover what the clue is. And there's a picture frame here. You find a hidden key within the frame. Oh god, that's that was too easy. I'm just going to rob them again. That was so easy. I thought there'd be like an actual riddle behind it. Okay, well, let's unlock this safe anyway. Oh, another holotape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and questions came up questions i don't have answers to i mean i've always felt off like i'm not really supposed to be here but then there are things in my childhood i can't remember and i've been having strange dreams i i'm going to go to meet these synths i i have to know the truth about myself They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. That is intriguing. It almost sounds like she could be a synth, but um, I'm probably wrong there. The whole idea of a synth community sounds very intriguing. And I'm stuck here. Let's go around here. Talk to the family again. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Actually, I did. Yeah, we can actually ask if she's human. I need to ask you an important question. 
Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Hmm. Far Harbor. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? A group of synths. Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Hmm, she's... she kind of stuttered there. Are you sure? Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes, I know my daughter and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. Okay, what's out there anyway? What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. Radiation. I'll take it. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. 500 caps. Easy, easy gold. Easy gold. Now we just hop in the boat and head off to Far Harbor. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out and I really hope you guys enjoy this DLC. If it did help you, please give it a like. And you can also check out the description for some more unique Far Harbor weapons and armor guides that you can get in this DLC. Make sure you subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos. My name is ESO and I shall see you in the next guide. Goodbye!